What's up guys? Sorry for scaring you. Didn't mean to startle you on your day of peace. But we're back with another video on need for speed payback and a little sneak peek here. Some of the cars that I have. That was just the race cars. There's a lot more. A lot more in store. But we're just going to go ahead and deal with this car right here that we have today. We have the Nissan Skyline 1999 R34 Spec V, I think. I don't know. Spec R V Spec GTR. Yes, sir. As you can see, we have the stats right there. The horsepower, 596, which should be a lot higher. And that level should be a 3 instead of a 2, but whatever. It's fine. EA, what are you going to do? Uh, top speed, 226, which is not too bad. Miles per hour, I mean, 0 to 60 is 2.87. Quarter miles, 10.53. NOS is at 2.4 for power and capacity. Airtime is zilch. Brake power response is 5.6, 5.5. It's a race car. What do you expect? Vanity items. We have blue nitrous. We have air suspension. Uh, the paint. I left it the same. It's, I think it's uh, Bayside blue. Like it's a, it's a pretty blue. So I don't see why you can't just keep it. Like obviously you gotta keep it. Stance lowered camber in the rear just a bit. Oh, did I mess it? No. Okay. All right. Uh, customization. Go have a quick look around here for you guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. So hood. We got Sunline Racing. We got a big little vented hood. I think there's like a smaller version. Yeah, this one right here. This one's like kind of. Yeah, this is like a little bit smaller. This one's like longer in a way. There's just a little vent on the side right there. I personally like this one, so it's this is the one I go with. Front bumper, we have the stand, uh, one of the Nissan ones. This is the stock one you get. I go with this, the second or third, whatever you want to call it. There's another one over here, but I prefer this one because it blacks out the little fog lights or that indicator lights right there. And it looks a little bit cooler. It has like little bits here and there that make it look a little different. But yep, yeah, these are some of the other parts right here you can put on there as well. Let's see what acquires your taste. Headlights, I think I have them on the darkest setting. Yes, I do. Uh, we got some front canards. There's some other ones. I can't really look at these because they're blocked off. Uh, splitter, it's a Need for Speed one. Here's some of the other ones. If anything takes your fancy. Fenders, we have the stock, or yes, the stock uh, front fender. Because none of these look really good. I hate how this gets all pointy at the corner of the the little fender there. But we're just going to keep the original for now. Unless they add some more stuff here in, in the near future. Make it like a, a wide body kit. Think of something. I don't know. Something. Side skirts, I think. Yeah, this is a second option for, for a Nissan. Uh, just adds a little oomph. It makes it look a little bit lower. There's also this stuff right here, which makes, um, hmm, interesting, very interesting, hang on a second, <laughs> uh, let's see, oh, I think I might go with this one actually, should I, wait, Hmm. Hmm. Thinking about it. it. It looks a bit too big. Honestly. Let's see. How does it match up in the front right there? Yeah, it makes it all uneven right there. It doesn't fit right. Okay. We're just going to leave that as is. Uh, the back fender, I have a D for speed one. It's the only knee for speed one. <laughs> There is, I think this is the, no, this is the stock one. 
the second option makes it like have a little lip around the rear of the fender the lip around the fender there's this which doesn't really do much kind of makes it like less wider as you can see don't know why you why would you want to do that and then obviously I went with the widest option in the back to make it wider need for speed option uh, makes makes a big difference honestly kinda cool makes the diffuser go a little bit higher but it's fine makes it wide that's all that matters tail lights all the way blacked out but you can leave them bright or kinda tinted or all the way black diffuser need for speed there's this there's that and then there's that uh, exhaust. I have Sunline Racing exhaust, which is really the biggest one I can find. I swore there was like bigger ones, but it looks this looks like it's gonna be the biggest one. Uh, rear bumpers have the second option for the Skyline, because obviously you get the choice of this one, and then you get that one. Mm. Contemplating if I should take it off or not now. Hmm. Let me swoop around this way, see how it looks. Nah, might keep it. There's another one, but we can't see it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't look that great. I don't know. My taste, I have different tastes. And the wing, I have a Need for Speed wing. This is the same wing I had on the last game. Uh, it's the biggest wing that I could probably find. There's a stock wing that comes with the car. There's that wing that looks weird because of the stands. The, the the actual like like wing itself looks good, but the the stands look funky. This is all right. This one's kind of stubby and chumpy. Uh, this one's good, but it's a little boxy for my taste, so I just went with this one instead. All right, and wing mirrors. I kind of left them the same. You could do that, but it looks kind of funky, so I just stuck with that. And yeah, that's all the customization. Uh, let's go to stats. Show you my stats, bros. All right, you guys, all the you guys saw all the stuff on the side. Uh, outlaw everything six times bonus for speed and nitrous. Uh, headers level twelve, brakes nitrous speed. Block level 12 speed, ECU acceleration level 12, turbo level 12 nitrous and speed, uh, exhaust level 12 brakes nitrous and acceleration, uh, gearbox level 12 acceleration and speed. And you do start off with this car at a level 3 stock parts, but you can bring it up to level 12 and just brings it up to level 299, which is kind of upsetting. I feel like this car has a lot more potential. But apparently EA has something else to differ. Hopefully they end up fixing some of these cars that are just completely, I don't know. Hopefully they just get rid of the whole tier thing in general and just make it as go as, make them, make them go as high as they can go. Hopefully. But, nevertheless, we're going to back out of here. We're going to do some racing. Do some gameplay for you guys so you can see how this car drives. I'm tempted to do one of these races right here that is outside right here of this uh, establishment that we have right here. This classy joint as a, as a rap would say. So here we go. You can hear the turbo. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the rims too. Fucking uh, Nismo rims. Those the Nismo rims are only exclusive to like Nissan cars. So you could probably put the you could put these cars on like the 350. You could put them on the R32. You could put them on the uh, the Fair Lady. You could put them on the uh, 180SX too. And I think you could put them on this on the S15. I think. Pretty sure you can. Let me lower it for you guys. So you guys see it lowered in its glory. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's right hand drive. Look at Tyler in the right side. Man, what are you doing on the wrong side of the frickin' cur? Alrighty, here we go. And we're off. So, thoughts about this car. It looks beautiful. It looks amazing. Like, it's like a 9.5 out of 10. 
there are some things where like I wish I could do to the car customizable wise but overall it's a pretty pretty overall well balanced car I feel like it's very underpowered in this game for some reason but we really can't do anything I'll show you guys my live tuning after this race I always forget shit like that but nevertheless here we go god it looks so pretty all right here we go Oh. Alrighty. But yeah, overall this car, like I haven't driven it too much. Like I immediately when the game came out and stuff and I finished all the races and stuff like that, beat the whole story mode and everything. Uh, when I started just like uh, planning to like see what cars I wanted to buy and see what cars I wanted to customize just to see how they would look in this game because I knew there was going to be a lot more parts than there was in the last game. Uh, I immediately went to this car as well. Like, I immediately obviously wanted to get the 350 as I progressed along the story. But, like, when I saw that the GTR was able to go 399, I was like, ooh, that's going to be a big issue. So, eventually, I just ended up settling for just, like, customizing it later on in the game. But, overall, it, it handles it handles alright. I feel like I could, if I get better parts for it, I feel like it would do a lot more better like I feel like acceleration wise it could go a little quicker uh, who knows maybe top speed could go a little bit higher but overall it's a fun car to drive it's that chill car you just would just want to do races with and stuff like that and just drive around with just if it's your dream car I know a lot of people have dreams about this car and owning it knowing that it's almost gonna be be able to be imported over here and be legalized and everything so just that neat little car as you can see it kind of grips a lot like it doesn't like slide as much as I want it to want it to like I kind of have to force it into it but it's fine kind of have to hit the handbrake to do it but it's fine here we go we gotta do some more drifting if we want to do the see like it doesn't want us oh what the hell that's there. That's a thing. Alrighty. Well, can't can't be can't be one of my YouTube videos without a crash in it. You know. Oh, they're already on my ass. I already hear them. I already hear them buzzing in my headset right now. All right, not nine nine thousand yards left to drift. Oh. Here we go. But yeah, very underpowered car, but overall, like, aspects of it, like, it looks pretty cool. It's cool, it's a fun car to drive, you know, like, maybe it might do better at drifting than it's racing typical stuff, but obviously, like, I, I see this car as more of a race car than a drift car, honestly. So, yeah, that's why I have it as a drift car, or a race car, actually. Ooh, I thought they were right behind me. Here we go. And we're done. to get a shite speed card, because this speed card that we have right now is better. So we're just going to trade up. And we're going to look for another race. So we're right here. There's another race right here. Another race right here. So we're going to go ahead and drive to it. I feel like... Hmm. Just teleport this way. Come around that way. I don't know if it's going to be any quicker, but I'm pretty sure it will be. But yeah. So. Let's see. Ooh, can we fix it up a bit so we don't look so nasty and ugly? Thank you. Oh. And I fuck it up. Then we go back around here. We go through the parking lot. And no sit out way. Speed trap. Here we go. Alrighty, so I'm pretty sure it's not that drive really quick over there. Do some more racing. But yeah, I notice a lot of the a lot of the cars that are level 299 are not that like as exciting to drive as like a 399 car would. It's just like if you're not going like fucking like 200 miles an hour, which most cars usually average. <laughs> 
um, you're not going to be having that much fun. But it's, uh, it's all depending on who you are and what you like to do in these type of games. Oh, look at that 350Z with that rocket bunny kit. Yes, sir. He's doing a wreck. Here we go. Okay, let's see if we can get in front of these guys. These guys look like they're the crew from the Silver Six. Uh, Canyon Silver Six or whatever their name is called. Wherever we go. Ghost is... Ghost is being a little bit bold here trying to get in first place the whole time. Oh. Obvious. Oh my god. Well that just backfired completely. Oh. It's all gone to hell. No problem though. We could bounce back. Hopefully we could do that side bet. Just get some extra money. But money is useless in this game unless you're trying to buy all the cars and customize them all. Sorry, I had to. Here we go. Oh, there's a helicopter flying over my house. Here we go. Where the hell is Ghost? Okay, I think I see him. Very grippy car. Very grippy car. If you want a grip car, maybe this is the car for you. Because, like, I have it on uh, Break to Drift. So, I want it to drift. Downforce is not all the way low. I forgot to show you guys, too. Completely forgot about that. Try and remember after this game. We're like, I'm assuming, like, halfway there. Here we go. Oh. 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 Takes corners pretty good. Tell you that. Oh. And traffic car almost ruined my life. That also helps when you're trying to get up there in the speed range. Here we go. <clears throat> Don't know why I drifted right there. Alrighty. We're cooking now. Might be in an auto log too as well. Boy smiley right there. Oh, tight squeeze. Yep, saw that coming. I just love it when that happens when there's two cars simultaneously like going like right in the middle. Gotta stay ahead. Where there's no way you can get through them. It's beautiful. Come on. Come on, Skyline. You're faster than this. You should be a lot faster than this. <laughs> but no, EA has other plans. Hopefully they, they release like different specs of cars where you're if you buy like this GTR this GTR, it, this one can go level three nine nine. You know? That'd be pretty cool. Same goes for the fucking three fifty Z, because that's my baby. And I got a special video coming out for that 350Z. Uh, so, yeah, watch out for cars and watch out for my 350Z video coming out soon. I know I, do, I did a lot of videos. I know I already did a video on it, but uh, I need to show you guys a few more things. that I, how, how far it's come across and how irritating this whole speed car thing is and tier levels and shit. How annoying it is. But it's fine. Whatever. Well, we're not going to beat the auto log. But we did beat the side bet. Well, actually, no, we missed it by 0.4 seconds. Or 5, if you want to say that, I think. Alright, we got some side money, though. We got more bank in the banco. Gotta open this card that is absolutely worthless to me. There we are. We got a base shipment. Probably have a couple. Probably just have this one, probably, because I always open them every time I get them. <laughs> Nothing. But part tokens. Because that's all that matters. Alrighty, where the hell are we? 
Okay, let's do one more. But what race do we want to do? What do we want to do? So down here. Mm. Uh, let's race in the city. You don't normally do that, racing in the city. You do that one. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Not a lot of good races. Now there's a couple over here. This one right here. You do that one. Teleport right here. I think this is like a circuit race. So it should be like laps and stuff. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. Here we go. I think it should be like right there too. Yeah, it's right here. Silver, silver Casino Loop. So it is a circuit race. Let's see, drift for a hundred at uh, one thousand six hundred and forty yards. Oh, uh, beautiful. Hard. <laughs> Got some Porsches. Alrighty. Let's, and let's earn ourselves some money. Get her done. What the hell? What's up with the cops? What the hell? Why is there cops there? That's weird. They're chasing some. They're chasing two other people. Two other. That cop is chasing two other guys. That's crazy. Never seen that before. I, I, I've seen it like once, but I never seen. I, I rarely see that. Oh, that's cool. As a sign, free roam cops are coming. Hopefully, we get that online free roam soon. Because I'm been waiting. Been waiting. Should have been here from the start. There we go. Try and gain some distance. Maybe beat some auto logs. See if we can be, beat my friend Smiley's RX-7. Pretty sure we can. And the skyline. Oh. Oh, got some poppy action. I didn't even light up. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Still don't know why we didn't get the G35, but it's fine. Whatever. Suck a dick. EA. That's why we got fucking shipments and shit, because of EA. I always have to make a crate of something. Why are you honking at me, bitch? Don't honk at me. Who do you think you is? Here we go. Final lap. Onward. Now we finish the side bet. Oh! Oh! Tyler, are you okay? Skyline looks a bit weird right now. Looks a bit slimy. Graphics are all off. Oh. Final turn. Eee! Did we miss that? We did. Missed it by just a hair. Yes, I know I missed the checkpoint. So I don't think, yeah. I don't even think we would have beat it if we didn't miss that checkpoint. Well, I don't know, maybe. That's how it's done. We could have beat that all log or not. But it's fine. Is there ooh brakes jump and acceleration regardless? Ooh. But since it had jumps I probably wouldn't have taken it, so Yeah. So you just trade that in. And we're just gonna go back to our little garage right here. A different one right here. 
Oh, is it in here? Yes, sir. And we're gonna shove our asses back in here, and we're gonna sign out on this video. Jumps. Alrighty. Well, that's the car. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, little video I put on the side right here for you guys. Hope you, you guys enjoyed watching little GTR drive around and shit. I know people really like the GTR, so we could just fanboy over it and stuff like that right now. Probably have a over the top title, but such average gameplay right now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.